Hey everybody, welcome back to another video today. Oh, and, and sorry about my room by the way, I'm actually getting prepared to move out. Um, as you know because there are certain circumstances I won't get into but um, today avocado, avocado saved us, right? Yeah, he was saying he's the villain and uh, he deceived us. But, to put it more accurately, he's basically an angel in a demon suit. So, he tricked us all, right? He tricked us all because we all thought he was fat, legitimately fat, okay? And obviously, there is everything wrong about being fat. But what he's essentially done was made the most revolting videos on eating a ton of ridiculous portions of food trying to get views and make people disgusted. But here's what I'm really disgusted about. See the fans of Nagakado Avocado that encouraged this? Yous. To you all who promote that, yous are sick human beings. This is why fat people die from overeating. They get heart attacks and all sorts of other cholesterol diseases and other stuff. I would say he's more of an anti-villain, let's be honest. The guy may have tricked us, but he's taught us something. Never ever judge someone by their cover. Don't. You may be able to judge them, but don't sit here and make fun of the guy. <laughs> That's what he's trying to teach us. And also the other thing he's trying to teach us is don't get fat. Because when you get fat, people are prone to make fun of you. Right? I just simply ignore his videos because I was, I was never interested in his videos until Penguin Z Zero and um, Orange Peanut made a video on him saying how they're impressed and well I'm impressed too 200, 200, 200 plus pounds what? how did he manage to lose that amount within a short time span. How? He, ha he had to lie to us in order to make it seem impressive. And I bet he was using fake fat on his body. Or the other alternative is this. He's made tons and tons and tons of videos from the past. And whenever he's not making a video, well, he's obviously scheduled it then to span it out for years and years and years and years and years. I don't know how you done it, but I'll say this, Nagakaro Naga, Naga Avocado, you've actually inspired me to speak on the filth of the minds of human beings on social media. This is exactly why I'm doing the Jungle Foundation, so that we can all come together, be healthy. And I'll also be speaking on something else after the video, and it's going to be based on everything that the Jonagal Foundation is going to be tackling. But well done, Nagakado Naga Avocado. Well done. Um, I'm more than impressed. I am astonished by your self-improvement. So well done. Anyways, I'm going to head off now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, um, please join the Jonagal Foundation to join the forces of the good. And walk away from corporate greed and the, this modern society we live in. Because we're all going to die, life is too short, and I don't want us to be suffering for the rest of our lives under corporate greed. So why don't we just come together, build a community, an actual community, not online community, although I've got an online platform, that doesn't mean that we don't get to arrange to meet up with each other, so that we could establish, establish, uh, um, something of a bond. So anyway, my head's all over the place, but I had to make this video because 
the, the guy is just he's the messenger we didn't deserve but he came anyway but anyway I'll see you all later